All right, you're here with uh, TJ and Robert. We're going to go over a few tips about the using the 1MC. Uh, this is the right angle porting tool manufactured exclusively for CC Specialty. Uh, you can find this product online at ccspecialtytool.com. Uh, I'm going to let Robert show you a few tips about using a 1MC. We've had some people have issues with them and uh, have some questions about what to do. The main thing, you're going to get it in your box just like this. Always try to leave it adjusted out. The head out just a little yeah, bit? Yeah, about a half inch roughly. A lot of people want to try to run it with it pushed all the way up in. Yeah, it kind of and it puts, puts a little more pressure. Yeah, just everything's bottomed out. Right. And just always be sure your knurled nut there is, you know, fairly tight so your head won't spin because it'll still okay. spin. Okay. You know, just be sure it's... And of course, always plugging and unplugging your hand pieces. Give it your foot pedal just a little bit of gas to get that shaft lined up. Same way with going back on, just... It'll pop right it, in there. And then it'll pop right on. Okay. If you just try to force it in, you're either going to bend your shaft or put everything in a bind. Okay, now, um, as far as when they first start to run this, uh, is it normal for it to have it's a little gonna more get, heat? It's going to get some heat. It's All them gears or everything in here is brand new. It needs to mesh up and get broke in, just kind of like a car. Right. I mean, everything's new. So yeah, your head would get a little warm, and sometimes it'd get pretty hot. Okay. But after about the first runs or two, first run or two, you might just run it for 30 or 40 minutes, kind of let it cool a while. Now, uh, as far as lubricating that head and everything, because I lubricate them here when I put them together. Uh huh. So I would wait before you put probably 10, 15, 20 hours on it. Okay. And then you can lube it lightly. I mix up a, our regular grease that comes with our hand pieces and motor with a, about half and half oil and grease, make it where it's quite a bit thinner right. than just a regular grease you want it. Now we sell, we sell and a little this bit of oil here would be fine. Yeah, that yeah, oil there. That is, stuff that I like with. something when I'm breaking it in with a little bit thicker. Right, right, different viscosity. And of course, this 1MC just loosen your neural nut to disassemble. This pulls apart from your body. Yep, that's the, the case. The body's only got your inner shaft and a one bearing in here. Okay. And of course, if you do need to break it apart, I either put this in a vise or in a in my lathe. Yeah. And don't squish it. Because if you oblong this, your nothing's going to connect. Okay. And then just take a wrench, and it'll loosen. Oh, it, it's on got your, little facets on there yeah, that you can put so a wrench straight on. It's real simple on that. Okay. Which this bearing is sealed. It probably will never go out. Okay. And yeah, then, we got people that use some of these from 30 years back. You'll see in some of the videos on here on YouTube. They literally have one MCs from 30 years back. And basically, you're going to get a set of wrenches just like this. One of them you put on the back of your head spindle. To take out your collet. I always recommend putting a bit in it regardless. Right, so it doesn't put any pressure on it. And always, if you can, pick you up a number seven okay. boxed in wrench because it fits perfectly on the, gets oh. all the corners. Yeah. This may cost you two bucks versus a collet that's 30, and if you break a few of those, you'll wish you had a. Right. But always put you a bit in it. Tighten it down. And you can either tighten it and just don't tighten these too tight. I mean, they hold really good. I mean, now that little collar, it just screws into the end there. Yes, I'm gonna show you. It's just, uh, just loosen it, pull your, and it should just thread out by hand. Okay. It comes all the way out of your head spindle. And then, of course, one of your wrenches that comes with your kit will have two pegs on it. It fits here in the back of your head plate. This That's will in be, case they need to disassemble this that. This will be to disassemble your. Uh, okay. Your 1MC. Now, the, a thing I do want to mention, if you don't want to do repairs on these, you can send I them to us. I recommend sending them back because... because yeah, we do this every day, all day, so we know exactly what to do and get it in, but if you want to do it yourself, he's showing you a couple quick tips on how to do that. Um, now, as far as, as, far as when they're uh, running in uh, aluminum or something to that nature with one of the little carbide burrs on there, uh, what's some precautions they should probably take about not getting it in a bind or whatever? Just let the bit do most of the cutting. Right. Especially in aluminum. You want to turn really slow 
because if you overheat it, it's just going to crystallize on top and make waves. And right. I mean, you're just hurting yourself if you run fast anyway. Okay. Try to just let the bit do most of the work a lot, especially on a right angle. Now, straight hand piece, I mean, you can put pressure on this side. Right, right. But uh, right angle, this is no already sense. in a bind from being two gears set in here like this. Right. But now to dis disassemble this, it's pretty simple. I just put it in my. Never, never chuck up your head. Because if okay. you squish this any at all, right. you'll never get your head plate or anything back out. And I just made this little block. It's just a piece of wood because I don't like using pliers or nothing on my. And scratch up my head. Right. And just barely loosen it. And this will come apart. And that, that's the inner as shaft. As you can see, assembly. this is your inner shaft. And it's got a bearing with your gear. And it goes up. Got me a pair of pliers. I got some right here. But just usually you can push this out, but just get a hold of your head plate, uh, your head spindle there, and right. push your other set of gears with your bearings. And of course, it's got a head bearing down in your head there. Right. And usually, if I replace any of these, I try to replace them all. Okay. And like I say, it's very quick. The main thing, that's why a lot of people run their gears, it's just like anything else, I screw this in, and when you can see it starts moving your head yeah. spindle, what I'm trying to do is work it back and forth till I be sure those gears are meshed up. Perfectly, so there's no bind. Because if I just sit there and tighten that, right. I'm mashing them gears together that ain't lined up. Ah, that's a handy so thing that, to know. Get that line back up, be sure it spins free, and then chuck it back up and don't over tighten your head I mean just good and snug plenty right and like I say it's back to you reassembled and while you had it disassembled you could put a little grease over the oil inside of there okay and that's pretty much it all right one MC all right well that's a quick little tips from uh, ccspecialtools.com it uh, shows you a few Few of the ways to disassemble, reassemble, and use your 1MC. The other thing that we may mention while we're in here, like he said, um, when you're working in aluminum with a straight hand piece, you can put a little more pressure on it. But uh, when you're working with a 1MC or any right angle, the 182, any of our right angles, don't don't use pressure to do it. You can uh, you can split one of these little collets really easy if you put too much pressure on them. The one of these little ears can come off. There's no reason to do it. If you're using pressure, you're probably doing it wrong anyway. So let the RPM and the cutting surface of the carbide bird do all the work. All right, well, you can find all our tools online, like I said, at uh, ccspecialtool.com or get a hold of us at 1-800-762-6995.